Okay. Hello out there once again fellow Hot Wheels enthusiasts. Well, uh, had a car boot sale, went to a few and found 25 cars. Now also as well, there is some others that I found uh, a couple of days ago when I went for a walk into Cambridge and back. But first of all, 25 Hot Wheels cars to get through. Let's get started then. Okay. Again, the weather was gorgeous. Sadly, in the afternoon, it rained. So we timed it about right. Okay, first up, we have Holly Weird. Now, I love limousines, and that is just a gorgeous limousine. I've no idea on the year, though. Perhaps maybe the Holly Weird logo on the side will give you something. These sorts of limos I love. However, the ones that came out in 2005, I think it was, the big long stretch thing, I liked, didn't like that. It was okay, but not really like this one. I mean, this is a proper limousine. The only thing actually missing on the back would have been like, sort of like that emblem, that little C-shaped boomerang emblem. Again, nice little car. And next up we have a 70s Roadrunner with O. Henry on it from Nestle. I think that's British. I'm not 100% though. Again, even has it on the boot as well. Nothing really wrong with this car. Again, 70s Roadrunner. Gorgeous thing to own. Okay. Next up, uh, we have Open Roadster. Again, I'm not usually one for these, but again, this was quite a nice little car. Red alloy wheels, blue skin, beautiful design, orange top as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, this. Again, this came from the second car boot sale we went to. Okay, next up. 32 Ford Vicky. Now, I know this one off by heart because I have two of these, or had two of these. I think I've only got one left now. Again, love the red alloys, red flames as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one actually has a plastic base. It has a plastic base, yet a metal engine bay. Surely you'd have metal on metal on metal, but obviously not. Tiki God up next, in the shape of a 1970s Corvette, or the 80s Corvette. Again, love the flower design on the side there, that is gorgeous. And on the bonnet you can see, grrr, Tiki God. These are the sort of things that you see on front of, sort of like doors, and on Easter Island I think. Great little things. Okay, now the ambulance um, van or lorry, whatever you want to call it, comes in many different forms. And here is one. FedEx. Delivering sick people so the ambulance crew don't have to. I don't know why they chose this and they couldn't have gone for the normal van. Again, it's definitely an ambulance. Inside you can see, just the side there, the stethoscope and first aid kit. It's about the only function this has is sort of like the opening and closing doors, which are a bit buckled and bent, a bit bent. Again, that's general play wear. Ferrari, I think this is a 126, yeah, 156. I've already got one of these in silver, which is in one of the other boxes up in the corner there. Again, still has the original 36 on, all three Ferrari logos, and even the 36 on that side. Wheels are all straight as well. This is the sort of car I love to find. There for later. Those two up there. Okay, next up we have a nice little VW Bug in purple with some crazy, crazy graphics on them. This is a beautiful little bug. Again, I like VW Bugs. The original or the old one. The original or the new one. I don't, I don't really like the new one, but again, it's a nice little car to have. Okay, next up, uh, two 57 uh, Bel Airs, or, or is it a 59 on a uh, 57 chassis? Again, here's the uh, 57 Bel Air, in beautiful red with what I can only describe as red paint, or perhaps only someone bled on it, and they just varnished it anyway. Don't know if this is from a special track set. The only other thing as well is that Mr. Ray Screws has said that various Walmart cars will have a Hot Wheels logo on the windscreen. And as you can see, this has a Hot Wheels logo on the windscreen. Promotional copy or something else? Again, 
I know at Fordham, the car boot sale, there are a lot of USA people who do bring back cars, so perhaps maybe this is from USA. It is a promotional Walmart or some kind of copy. Again, I've no idea though, it's just a lovely car, and I love that Bel Air. Okay, second Bel Air that I have, but it's an early one. Now this is the one that had the big engine block sticking out of the bonnet. Look at the front end, that looks like a proper Bel Air. I don't know if you can actually see it, but on the front there, it does actually have the Chevy logo. Again, plastic top, metal base, and again, what is the point of that fishing hook underneath there and those three bomb packs? I don't know if that was a running thing in Hot Wheels. Again, it's a gorgeous car. And I absolutely love it. Okay, going down here. Next up we have an ambulance. But, hold on a minute. They're the same. Believe it or not, yes. And I will be doing a video on this one. This is a cheapy M-A-I-S tool. Masto, however you say that, cheapo car. Sadly, it's done on the uh, Hot Wheels ambulance casting. They've only changed a few things, but I know it's the original Hot Wheels ambulance because remember the Fiat X one? Well, inside is exactly the same. There's a stethoscope and a first aid kit. Other than a few little changes here and there, it is the same. And I will be doing a video on that later. 56 Corvette with the lift up bonnet. Now you see my one in purple. Gorgeous car. There's a little bit of play wear. The only bit of damage, of course, is as you can see, driver's uh, headrest is missing. It's been snapped off. But again, gorgeous condition and a great car. Datsun Bluebird 510 in extremely play worn condition. I know Mr. Ray Screws would like this one to add to his red, white and blue collection. Because it is in red, white and blue. It has been well and truly played with. The underside, as you can see, scratched. Very well played with this one. But again, when you go to car boot sales, that's the sort of condition you might find them in. You might find them in much better condition like the Ferrari. But again, usually that is sadly the condition you're going to find them in. Hammerhead. Or hammerhead. This one is from a five pack of fish. I don't know what the other four cars were, but I know they all had shark designs on. As you can see, this car fits the uh, hammerhead because it has sort of like a hammer type front end. I've no idea on the name of it. It came out in 1983. It's sort of a bit play worn, but again, it's very good for its age. And again, any ideas on that? Again, all comments and uh, information on these cars is gracefully accepted. Now, you may remember uh, a couple of videos ago, I found those two very nice um, tow trucks with original carry holders or towing bars. How about a truck that actually has the original fencing bit in it? Now, on the side here, it says Crash Barrier Constructors. Sadly, you can't see that, but that is definitely that. And again, opens up to about that far. So whether it would have been used for tipping something out here. I don't know if there was anything meant to be in there, or whether this truck was meant to be like this. Again, this truck did come, it is the same as the other one. As you can see, massive, huge bar grills on the front. Grr, get out of my way, look. Love the wheels, as they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, to find that as well, usually you would just find it, and I can tell this pops off, you would just find it like that, missing the original thing. Sadly, all this is missing, if it did have anything in there, in the back there, pass. Again, any information on that would be great. Next up, Simpsons. Oh, hang on a minute, I've already shown this, haven't I? Nope. This is a different one. This actually got me at the car boot sale. Thankfully though, because there is a looking glass, I looked through it and saw a different picture, which means it's the second one. Now, on eBay, there were two of these, and apparently there is seven to collect. So, whether there are three Bajara bugs with various pictures, and four of these vans, I don't know. But again, it definitely in the back there has a different picture. Don't know if you can see that, but it's Homer Simpson basically 
running with sort of like a radioactive uh, inanimate rod, uh, tripping in nuclear waste and pretty much being Homer Simpson. Okay, remember the purple Mercedes or goldy Mercedes that I had? Here's the beautiful black. Now again, at the back there it has on it a uh, custom 380 SL. This is actually the 380 cell. Cell, cell, cell. Again, love it. All metal, golden base. Absolutely gorgeous condition this. Slight little chip on the front end there. But again, other than that though, slight play wear on the sides as well. So we'd have a gold line going along there. It's sadly not there. But again, in great condition. Okay, next up is a Ferrari. No idea on the make or model though. Again, it's a very nice black sleek one. Hot Wheels logo on the back there. Now I know this one isn't a promotional copy or anything. Usually because they would brand the Hot Wheels logo on the back there. Not 100% on that, but again, got a lot of play where this, but again, it wasn't too bad. Okay, now this one is fairly new, I think. It's a custom 66 GTO wagon. Now, I know that Pontiac GTO wagons are extremely rare because not a lot of people brought them, but also as well, they were notorious rust buckets but again it's definitely a Pontiac that front end it's absolutely gorgeous this again it has one massive huge window there with one door so no idea also as well the back window is missing that's because you have your little doggy in there that is a doggy again I don't know what make or dog it is but it definitely is a dog or it's meant to be something looking out the back window it says Hot Wheels City, fine departure. Hot Wheels something on the side. Now I know that this one uh, has been reissued as the Fire Chief. But I've noticed they have removed, or haven't they removed, the uh, little doggy on the back. Again, information would be gracefully accepted. I think this is a BMW. I'm not 100% on it. But again, another gorgeous car in blue. It definitely looks like a BMW to me. Again, Hot Wheels logo on the back of the uh, roof there, or back of the window. Again, gorgeous car. I've no idea whether it is a promo or came out of a set or something. I love the gold alloys on that. Down to our final few. Tom Massey, I three. Or Tomasia to Thomas Himisa. Don't know how you say this in gorgeous blue. I did have this in red. But again, this was actually made by uh, Tom Mide. M E A D E. Says so under there. Made by Tom Mide. Again, don't know any information on this. Have they even bothered to remake these? I mean, it would be nice to see this again. Or was this in a final run? Now, I know that uh, final run cars, that is the last of that car. So, again, that's probably why that ambulance from that cheapo company got that. Again, I'll be making a video on that. Corvette Stingray. In extreme type style. Yeah, it's got all circuitry wires. Looks like it's basically just come out of an army film, really. It's got all bits of circuitry, target marks, scratches. Gorgeous condition, though. No marks or dents or blemishes. Nothing. So it looks like it was basically well preserved. Ah. Now, the Mr. Ray Groove has this boxed. But, this one actually has the back wheels. This one doesn't. Bugging taxi. Love these sorts of cars. Again, look at that engine mount on the back end there. That's how you custom a Beetle. Again, gorgeous little car. Front end on there, got a very nice Bob Marley look-alike. It's just a nice little car to have. I've no idea on the year though. Uh, I'll have to recheck over them. But again, very nice. Police car. Hot Wheels Police. 
it's in fair condition bit of general wear and tear on it and what I want to know about this is why is the underside curved you can actually see there that it's sort of curved a bit is that normal for this car I don't know if someone saw I just basically pressed on the base whilst it was still hot and said I like that effect pass again any information would be gracefully accepted final car for this uh, car boot sale lot is the Hot Wheels Circuits or Circus another gorgeous 32 or 42 Ford of some kind again still with the original front end on it love the back end though look at that that is gorgeous on that and that is pretty much it for the Hot Wheels cars now then a couple of days before the car boot sale I went into Cambridge so officially um, Walking around the charity shops in Cambridge, I found this. Now this is an original Hot Wheels car before my day. Uh, 29p paid for it. It's in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. It still even has the original little moving uh, hoses as well, which is very rare. Usually these got broken off or chewed off. Only bit of wear is sort of like at the side, but it's supposed to say airport rescue fire service other than that though it's in good condition it's very heavy as well I mean and no wonder why these cars are very I mean it's quite heavy I, I love heavy cars though because that means sort of like you can see if they do still work on today's tracks okay next up is pedal D metal a strange custom looking car. I just liked it for the fact that it's one that I hadn't seen before. Again, same place as the Fire Chief. I don't know if it's supposed to have some kind of protective cover over this or whether this is how it came. But either way, it's a nice little car. And it's one that I have. Now then, I went to Asda, which is another sort of place, and it does have a dump bin. And finally, at last, I have found Kit. I now have a Night Rider. Again, nothing wrong with this one. It is gorgeous. Okay, having a bit of a rummage around in their little miniature dump bin, which had sort of like this is more a cage, I found this. Now, before you say, good grief, he's found another error. Sadly, it isn't. It's a double wheel blemish. Now what this is, is with uh, on Diecast TV channel, they had two different variations of kit, where one had one set of wheels and another one had a different set of wheels, and then they found one in the middle. This is the double wheel variation. So basically, if you do find the 2009 Corvette Stingray concept, it will either have golden wheels or frosted wheels. Again, this guy here, Mattel, you need to remove them because otherwise people are going to think that is an error. However, I did have a look somehow from this angle and I did actually see that the front wheels are gold and the back wheels are white. So again, like I say, it's a blemish. Again, I don't know if this is rare or whether this is something else, but again, this was buried right down the back. It was only when I saw the fact that it had a golden and a white wheel that I thought must get, and I did. Anyway, that once again concludes uh, all the car boot sale cars I've had. Whew, quite a few to go through. Again, any information is gracefully accepted on these cars, years that they were produced, or whether they're from multi packs or whatever. Again, comments, fave, rates, anything that you fancy doing. Again, join me next time for more Hot Wheels action when it might be another box from over there or is it the ambulance one? Bye for now.